This was probably the hardest but quickest world boss alt kill that we have done so far. This time we're on Lossom and we are fighting the Night Weaver. I'm going to show you guys how to do the alt kill. The first step to set yourself up for success, you want to spec into weak spot damage or have a weapon that can do precision damage. So no Enigma, even though I did use it in this fight, but you want something else that's going to help you with precision damage. I used a pulse rifle. I also did a dual archetype with Hunter to get that extra Hunter's Mark and extra weak spot damage because when the Night Weaver summons her Frost Beetles, her explosive beetles, she's going to actually open up her chest and expose her heart. You need to shoot the heart and break it. You basically want to destroy her glowing heart in her chest. She's going to actually fall to the ground and change to this like electric blue color instead of the frosty white blue color. So you want to make sure that she drops to the ground. You hear basically the audio cue that she broke her heart and she's going to look completely different. You want to do this in phase one. So she doesn't start summoning her beetles till about 75% health. So get her health down and then prepare to slam that weak spot. Once you destroy the weak spot and she turns that electric blue color, then you can just unload damage into her, get her to the second phase. Then in the second phase, this is where you need to be really careful because if she grabs you, that is when she's going to eat your heart, get it for herself. She gets her heart back and it's going to be near impossible for you guys to destroy it again before you just outright kill her. So we had to do this over and over to make sure that we didn't get grabbed on the second phase and we just burned her down as quick as possible. As long as you kill her while she is still electric blue and doesn't have a filled heart, you're going to get a new material, the Night Weaver's Finger. You're going to take these fingers over to McCabe and she's going to be able to craft a new melee weapon for you. It's called the Nightshade and it's actually just her fingers, her claws that you're going to have on your hands. And it is a really, really cool melee weapon. The effect is called Beyond the Veil. Neutral Evade turns to Mist, granting Nightshade, which is 5% base damage as lifesteal for 5 seconds. Perfect Dodge doubles the duration. This melee weapon has a really high crit chance of 18%, so it would be great in a melee crit build. Or if you're running a ranged crit chance, crit damage type build, then this melee weapon could be great to pair with that. Here's a little showcase of what it looks like in action at the training range, but it's definitely going to be on my back permanently. I think it's a super cool weapon and it was difficult to complete this alt kill and get it done. All right, guys, that's it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed another alt kill on a world boss. If there's anything you want to see in Remnant 2, leave a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already to help me hit my 50k goal by the end of the year. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.